you had a, once had an issue with Joe Budden because he said something because you direct. As a matter of fact, as we sit here, you directed Cardi B's music video for the upcoming. I think the song for upcoming album that she got. Uh, you had. I don't think he feeling it, but you had a run in with Joe before, correct? Yeah. We good. Yeah, we good with Joe. Man, Joe just be. I don't like how uh, I, I rock with Joe because I didn't talk to him also on some man to man, but I just feel like he would kick it with you and then kind of dog you out to the world. Right. You know what I mean? Now, it'd be hard for him to do that because it's like the credits don't be matching. Like the comparisons, the credits that he has don't right. be matching. Oh, uh, okay, okay. You know I mean, right. The credits that he got don't really, really be matching to right. like the people he he be getting on ass. Mm -hmm. But he do got a word, and sometimes he say some things that that it do make sense. But right. I didn't like how he was trying to shit on the females. You know what I mean? Right. Like it's an evolution, bro. You shouldn't say that the mm -hmm. the that is dead. And then I don't want him to come for me either, like, cause I didn't talk to him. I ain't just down to. I just feel like I dis I, I disagree with your opinion with the female music. Right. Like they doing their thing. Why mm -hmm. why why shit on it? You know what I mean? Right. But we good. We good though. Yeah. No problem. I ain't got no problem with nobody. Let me ask you this. How do you, the criticism that comes along with it, how have you been able to develop thick skin? Because you know there have been some criticism. I don't come from that though. It's Bryce Davis on the check in. And Shannon Sharp asked Offset about Joe Button, his relationship with him. And one thing I got to say is Joe Button is definitely necessary for the culture. You know, Offset mentions that. You know, he'll kick it with you, but he'll dog you out to the world. I actually think that that's necessary. We need people that'll speak their mind despite having a relationship with you. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's people that Joe has relationships with that obviously he's not going to speak as L love, you know, but for the most part, you know, we need people that'll, you know, not be biased and have friendships that are cloud their judgments when critiquing music. Now, that doesn't mean that you got to insult the person and say it's trash per se. But, you know, just because you're cool with somebody doesn't mean that, you know, you need to hold back when you're giving your honest opinion. And there's obviously ways to go about that. So I think friends like that are definitely needed. You always need somebody that'll check you when you're in the wrong and things like that. And there's not too many people out there that's like Joe because, you know, most people, they got to form a relationship or they got to keep their bags secure and usually having issues with artists holds them back from that. But anyway, let me know what y'all feel about in the comments. Y'all think that he's right or y'all feel that it's wrong for Joe to be like that. And let me know. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.